Uh, Clint, not a classic, but three points in the bag. Just sum up that one. How did you see it? Um, functional, professional. Um, our record here is ridiculous. In the last ten games, we've won nine, drawn one, we've let in one goal. Um, I'm asking the question, like, if anybody knows if we've ever had a better home record than this. Have we ever won ten in a row here? Um, but it doesn't feel like that. The crowd was down tonight. I know it's tough getting here um, in the week, and I know... Um, Wigan were going to be... Um, Did you put the atmosphere down to it? It wasn't great tonight, was it? No, um, I don't know. It was... Uh, Wigan were stubborn. Um, I saw before the game. Um, they've, they've only lost one of their last five home games and they've only let in five goals. But people see a Wigan side that are on 32 points, second bottom, and think... You know, and there's always the chance that you could see a four goal. You know, if you take your chances, you can you can see that. But a lot of the time, this the you know everyone says about the championship. It's so tight. It's the most competitive league in the world, in the world, and it's um, any, anything can happen in that. So to have this run at home, if only we could like take it on the road a bit, we'd be absolutely flying. It's just um, it doesn't feel like we've won nine nine out of ten here, and that's what ninety percent of our fans. Um, see, so you'd think everyone here would be buzzing, but I don't know why it doesn't feel like that. So yeah, it's got the job, the job done in the end. So glad we could uh, defend and uh, you know get a clean sheet as well. So a better a better team would have uh, would have beat us uh, on that performance. You know, luckily we was against a team in the bottom three in Wigan. They didn't bring their shooting boots uh, to the Hawthorns tonight. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's a win, but it wasn't entirely convincing. Turgid, we'll take the three points. Uh, massive results, obviously. Go again Saturday. Massive day Saturday. Hopefully the March is well supported. The action for Albion March. Leaf has been very well received today. And massive three points against Curse of Colin Warnock. Yeah, just in terms of the performance, you know, Albion had a chance in the first half. Could have been two or three up at the break, but something missing tonight. You know, for you, what was what was missing? You know, a little bit of a spark almost. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if they've had instructions, but like like as I said, I think it was functional and professional. Don't get injuries. Don't. Um, obviously, it's a midweek game. We've got another game on Saturday. It's not like we can rotate at the moment. We've got nine players injured. Um, so I don't know if it was. Um, you know, as long as we get that goal in the first half and then try and get a second, which I, you know, with respect, would have killed the game. Um, I think it was just a case of you know keep the ball. We our players seem so comfortable on the ball generally. Occasionally you'll make a mistake, and I know some people don't like it passed around the back and that. But our players are very comfortable on the ball, and um, you know think about it from the other side. But how frustrating must it be for Wigan when they're just constantly chasing and we're passing it round and um, and that. So I think it was um, just just a case of keep the. I don't know what the possession stats were like. We'll see, but. Um, just keep the ball and, um, and break them down. We don't need to be charging everything down and forcing mistakes. And that we, you know, if we play how we how we can, you know, we should be able to break them down. Unfortunately, it was just the once, but you know, it was enough in the end. I don't know. He's, he's coming off a bad result. It's uh, it's cold tonight, so you know. I think they were sort of prevented injuries and that kind of thing. So once a goal went in, they, they controlled it well. I thought, yeah. you know, they didn't have to do a great deal more than that. Bit bit edgy at the end, but yeah, good overall. No, um, why it is? I think the shooting could have been better, and the passing could have been better. I think we're missing Thomas Asante. You know, hopefully he comes back soon from injury. Um, but yeah, I mean. Like, like I said, you know, a better team would have beaten us. Um, but thankfully, you know, no disrespect to them, it was Wigan, you know, and they're not doing particularly well in the championship either. No, I mean, obviously it's the same players. We obviously got, we, we're not able to rotate from the bench. I think we're playing our best stuff when we had uh, able to rotate Rogic and, and Swift and BTA and DK, and I think that's having an impact. Um, but yeah, I, I had I had reminiscence of the Blackburn game where get a goal, miss some chances, go into sort of cruise control and let something slip at the end. But fortunately, uh, Josh pulled off a good save at the end when I had I had a few uh, butterflies at the end. But all's well that ends well. Yeah, Josh Griffiths has come. He made a good save at the end. Made a couple of, couple of decent saves definitely. tonight. Have you been impressed by him in recent weeks? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Clean sheet, good thing. Yeah, yeah, really good. And Carlos hasn't got many options to change, but that's two in in a week. Uh, or it will be on Saturday. Is there any um, changes that you would would make? I know some fans have alluded to certain changes. You know, Ajay for Peters. Peters went off tonight. 
Uh, no, if Peters is uh, if Peters is all right, um, then as I say, um, I thought he had a decent game tonight. Um, you know, we've let him one we've let him one goal since October. It was that Sheffield United game, wasn't it? I think um, since that game, we've let in one goal, which was a set piece um, against Blackburn. It's just um, incredible. So no, I wouldn't change it. Um, I thought um, I know we don't want to talk about Friday, but um, I thought Shalabur and Garnitman did all right when they came on Friday. Uh, they're two players who I see around the first team. Um, Adam Reach is he's all right. Townsend hasn't been flying at the moment, but but I wouldn't be making changes. Um, hopefully, um, Huddersfield, another team that's down there. Hopefully, we can get a, a, a first and then a second goal a bit quicker and and um, arrest a few for a big Car- for a Cardiff game. Not taking Huddersfield for granted, but. Um, we need to change it around on the road. If we can do that, then we've got the games. We've got such a nice run in um, that we, we should be all right for the playoffs. But you know, if, um, if, if Norwich and who else is there, if they put a bit of form together, it's going to get tougher. But they've got to come here. Um, Millwall have got to come here. Norwich have got to come here. Sunderland have got to come here. The teams that we're chasing and overtaking. Um, so, but I think we'll make the playoffs. Yeah. Um. DK's held up well, uh, so at the yeah. moment don't need to change. As, as long as he sort of keeps his fitness, his yeah. energy. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, midfield, have got enough to swap through. So yeah, just keep rotating those when we need to. And uh, just in terms of you know moving forward to, to Saturday, you mentioned the march there. You know, yeah. plans seem to be be going quite well. Yeah, I'm sure you're open for a big turnout. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, going really well. Yeah, police of um, and the club are fully supportive of the the, the march down the Birmingham Road. I think we've avoided the Matawai Island, uh, and the club are allowing us to bring banners into the ground for the first time, uh, controlled with fire regulations. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. They'll both be in the in the Smethwick end. And uh, main thing, as always. Support the team, get beyond the team. Crucial three points today. Hopefully, another crucial three points on Saturday, and uh, nine yeah. points this side of the uh, of the the, uh, the break, international break, would be brilliant.